Welcome to MLab. I'm Nisha, your nerdy leader, and I'm joined by my fellow nerdy colleagues, Erica from Autodesk and Daryl from The Broken Nerd. In this episode, we'll be featuring two advanced builds representing the sides shown in the upcoming Black Panther film. You guys ready to get started? For a Koye spear, we decided to go with Tinkercad because it's easy to use and it's fun. For the spearhead, we went with creating it using a pyramid. For the top of the spear, we used a cone. And for the body, we chose a cylinder. For the grips, we decided to go for the torus. We assembled these together, and there's the spear. In order to prototype it, we decided to export the file as an SVG, which can be cut on a laser cutter. That sounds pretty awesome. Daryl, do you want to walk us through um, your Eric Killmonger Spear and Sword? Sure. So for Eric's Killmonger Spear and Sword, I utilized Fusion 360, and that allows you to create a little bit more complex objects than Tinkercad can. I go ahead and use a variety of different objects to create one complex object so we can export that out and send it to the water jet to be cut. Awesome, I can't wait to see how these two builds turn out. That looks really good. Oh, thank you. That actually looks really pretty. <clears throat> Thanks. So when are you gonna be finished with my necklace? I'm going to be finished with this piece after the episode. Awesome. Your sauce. necklace, I thought she was making the necklace for me. Whatever gave you that impression? We had the discussion way before this event. Okay, we'll wait and see. Thank you, Doran, for coming by MLab and allowing us to ask you a couple questions on your maker journey. No problem, you're welcome. We're gonna do a little challenge while I'm asking you a couple of questions, and that's to actually make a piece of jewelry that you would like to see being part of Dorian. That's going to be exciting. <laughs> right? In 140 characters or less, how would you describe your work? Unique, one of a kind, wearable arts, created for visionaries. We're really excited once the trailer dropped and we realized this was happening for real. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I'm even more excited about what I feel is going to do for makers of color and makers like ourselves in terms of putting a spotlight that we're out here and we exist. And I wanted to know what is your hope with working with the film, with your official jewelry line tied to the film, that you hope will happen once your works are out there in the world? I hope that it gives a voice to makers of color, it's possible. They can achieve their dreams if they have a dream to do something big. Could you speak on a little bit about how your tribe has helped you on your maker journey thus far? I feel like my tribe has always reminded me of my potential uh, and my talent in those moments where it seems as if I need, um, I forgot, I may have forgotten that um, what I wanted was possible. So what do you have? Oh, it's so I was making like a dog tag with my pretend Wakandan language on it. See, I was actually trying to replicate your necklace that... <laughs> That's good. I was trying to oh just my do goodness. the dagger. <laughs> Thank you, Doran, for stopping by MLab, partaking in a couple of questions, and you know how we have to close out? 